In this episode, why you should never doubt Einstein, a badass plane that's helping out during the coronavirus. Hello and welcome to Pop News. My name is Jennifer Lehman. I'll be taking you through some of my favorite stories on Popular Mechanics website. Astronomers recently announced the discovery of a black hole orbiting star that confirms one of the key tenets of Einstein's theory of general relativity. He predicted that the gravitational pull of a super dense black hole would be strong enough to alter the orbits of nearby objects. The astronomers used Chile's very large telescope to study S2, a star orbiting Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Instead of circling Sagittarius A star in this closed elliptical orbit, kind of like our orbit around the sun, S2 has this incredibly wild, loopy 16-year orbit that is so warped by space-time, just as Einstein predicted, that it periodically shifts, creating this daisy-shaped pattern around the black hole. The world's largest cargo plane, the Soviet-designed Antonov An-225, has taken to the skies to aid in the fight against the novel coronavirus. The plane has six engines, a 290-foot wingspan that's about as long as the Statue of Liberty is tall, and it can haul up to 550,000 pounds of cargo. The plane left Tianjin, China on April 13th, and after a short pit stop in Kazakhstan, landed in Warsaw, Poland with over 100 tons of medical supplies and equipment, making it the largest ever single air transport by volume. If you've been working remotely, you've probably spent a good chunk of time on the video conferencing platform Zoom. Matt, just blink at all. We know you're alive. So fed up with having to spend so much time on the platform, Red Pepper technologist Matt Reed created an AI-generated doppelganger that can actually take your place during the pesky Zoom calls. Hi guys, Matt here. My video is a little choppy, sorry. The Zoom bot is a little glitchy and it doesn't blink. If you're looking to free yourself from the tethers of Zoom, don't worry, Reed has you covered. He posted his code to GitHub so that you too can make a Zoom bot of your very own. And now, it's time for us to hop in our time machine and dive through the Popular Mechanics archives. In the absence of sports lately, people have taken to narrating the mundane moments of their daily lives, whether it's walking the dogs, baking cookies, or in the case of my personal favorite, sending a bunch of marbles down a homemade track. Now, people are getting creative. We did some digging through the Popular Mechanics archives, and it turns out that sending a bunch of tiny balls down a homemade track, well, that actually goes back a lot longer than you might think. In April 1921, Popular Mechanics reported on the advent of a thrilling new sport, pool ball racing. Gamblers placed their bets as 10 pool balls whizzed down a 100-foot trap. Our reporter cheekily wrote at the time that unlike horse racing, the races can't be fixed, and as there's never been any way found of doping a pool ball, the best ball always wins. Well, that wraps up this episode. Thanks so much for joining us. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the stories we discussed today, don't forget you can visit our website, click the links below, and of course, subscribe.